Okay, so this is the same problem that we just saw in my other video, but this time I'm gonna solve it a different way. I'm gonna solve it using a ratio table. So here we go. A Kia drove 232 miles in four hours. At this rate, how far could she drive in 10 hours? And what is her speed in miles per hour? So remember that this problem tells us it's a rate, right? which is a ratio that just compares two different units. So miles per hour. I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, so this is really a two part question. It's asking us how far could she drive in 10 hours? And since it's asking how far, I know that far needs to be miles because I already have my hours. And it's asking us what is her speed in miles per hour, right? Which means that miles per one hour, which means that this is actually going to be a unit rate. Remember that a unit rate just has a denominator of one. So in this case, the denominator of one is the one hour. So before I solve this with proportions, in this video, I'm going to solve it using a ratio table. So I'm gonna use a vertical ratio table. So the first thing I wanna do is write out my units. My first unit is miles. My next unit is hours. So I just drew a t-chart, miles and hours, and I'm gonna use this to make a ratio table. I actually like solving this way better than using proportions just because it's kind of easier to see everything laid out in one place. All right. So we know that we are going to be looking for her speed in miles per hour. So I'm gonna fill that in as one hour. Since I don't know how many miles she's driven yet, I'm gonna leave that blank. The next thing I'm gonna fill in is the rate that they give me, 232 miles in four hours. And the last thing I'm gonna fill in is this last piece of information, 10 hours but I have to leave the miles blank because I don't know how many miles she drives in 10 hours yet because I haven't solved the problem. So what I like about ratio tables is that it's easy to look for relationships between the numbers. So remember that we only use multiplication or division when we're solving um, with ratios. So when I look at four and 10, well, I think to myself, does four go into 10 an even number of times? No, it doesn't, right? Four times two is eight, four times three is 12. So these numbers are not compatible, but I can think that, well, hmm, how could I go from four to one? I can divide by four. Four divided by four gives me one. So I can do the same thing on this side and I can divide 232 by four. Don't know what that is off the top of my head, so I'm gonna move off to the side so that my work stays neat. And I'm just gonna set up my division problem. Four goes into two, zero times. Four goes into 23, five times. I get a remainder of three, bring down my two. Four goes into 32, eight times. And I have no remainders, so I'm good to go. This means that Akio drives 58 miles in one hour. And remember that this one is our unit rate because it's a denominator of one. So if I were to write this as a rate, I could write it as 58 to one, 58 miles to one hour. So that's our unit rate. So now instead of setting up a proportion, I can actually use my unit rate to solve for this last missing piece of information, right? So I'm gonna switch colors so that it's easier to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna use my unit rate. Look for a pattern with multiplication and division. Does one go into 10? Yes, one goes into every number. How many times? Well, one times 10 will give me 10, so that means one goes into 10, 10 times. Got to do the same thing to the other side to keep them equal. Multiply 58 times 10, and that's going to give us this missing value. 
all right? I know that whenever I multiply anything by 10, it's the same thing as shifting them over one place value. So my tens place becomes the hundreds place, the ones place becomes the tens place, and now I have a zero in the ones place. So there we go. We've gone ahead and we've solved our problem using ratio tables. So our answer would be that a Keo drives Fifty-eight miles in one hour, or we could say miles per hour. And the second part of our question, we now know that Akio drives five hundred and eighty miles in. 10 hours. And there you go. We've gone ahead and we've solved a two part problem, two part word problem, found our unit rate, and then we used our unit rate to find an equivalent rate using division and multiplication. If you like this video, you can hit subscribe for more math help or give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Thank you. Have a great day.